If you've been watching swimming events at the Summer Olympics, you may have seen a practice known as cupping. You've at least seen the aftermath on swimmers' skins with the red marks that cupping leaves. The origins of cupping began in China, with a process utilizing animal horns for things like drawing infection out of the body. But how does modern cupping work, and what does it do? We spoke to Leonard Malamed of the Acupunct Chi Clinic in Cleveland Heights to find out. Generally, there are two types of cups. Pressure cups, ones that work by connecting a manual pump, allowing for specific amounts of pressure to be created, and fire cups, where glass cups are heated with an open flame, creating a natural vacuum within the space, drawing the skin inside. Uh, the benefits is it's a tremendous. It's very good for uh, sore muscles, for people who experienced uh, pain in joints, bronchial problem, for digestive problem, for health with fertility. We have a lot of cancer patients who have a lot of toxins in their body and to detox them. Uh, it's also very calming, uh, help to prepare muscles for exercise. Mm -hmm. It's help to improve uh, blood flow. And opposite side, after competition, when athletes get uh, create a lot of toxins, lactic acid and other stuff, it's help uh, remove that stuff quickly. And I think it's gonna be more and more popular in this country. 